How will music festivals deal with theft in 2022? Or even more so, will they? Now, this is a very tricky situation. I did a video about this a few months ago, just warning people, be, be a bit aware that theft seems to be on the rise at festivals. And then, in case you didn't know, at EDC Las Vegas 2021 of this year, the amount of theft that was, that was reported was insane. And if you think about it, you know, I did a video about this. People are going to EDC, probably their first festival after the pandemic. They're looking to let loose, finally be at that music festival vibe again. And you have these people who go just to steal people's phones, wallets, keys, IDs, pretty much anything they can get their hands on. And if you look at that video that I posted, there are so many comments of people talking about, you know, my friend got their stuff stolen. I got my ID stolen. You know, I got this stolen. I got that stolen. And as you can imagine, especially at a festival, one, that's the worst vibe killer of all time. You're there to let loose and have a fun time. You do this kind of thing, right? Or maybe check your bag. It's not there. And next thing you know, you're like, where's all my stuff? Another thing is the logistic. You know, if your stuff gets stolen, what are you going to do about money? If let's say you have to fly in and out and let's say you don't have your ID, that's another issue. If you don't have your phone, how are you going to get in contact with your friends? If let's say you drove a rental car and you're being DD for the festival and you have your keys and those get stolen, how are you going to drive off the property? There are all these different logistical issues that come with that, of course. And a lot of people have been saying, you know, Insomniac needs to do something about this. Kids don't know, Insomniac is one of the biggest music, music festival events companies in the world. They run EDC, among a lot of other festivals. Insomniac has not really said a lot yet. They haven't really come out with an official statement. And it's a tricky situation because on one end, in a sense, it's not 100% Insomniac's fault. Of course, right? Obviously, Insomniac didn't hire all these people to steal people's stuff, right? That'd be a crazy cons a conspiracy theory. But on the other end, I feel like theft right now is so bad and way worse than it's ever been before at music festivals. I feel like Insomniac needs to do something. There was a report that a lot of people said, um, and I, I, I don't know all these signs behind it, I wanna stress this point, but that people were wrapping people's phones in tin foil, or aluminum foil, excuse me, because I guess, disrupts the service so if you call it or you try to use like find my iphone it doesn't work so one theory someone had i saw in some of the comments is make sure that insomniac bans aluminum foil from now being allowed into festivals that way people are trying to purposely steal some of these stuff and block transmission and any kind of signal going through cannot happen etc etc it is tough to say you know i think when it comes to the the best solution you don't know if you if someone goes online and buys a ticket how do you not know that they're actually proceeding forward with just going there just to steal people's stuff? And guess what? It is way worse now than ever before. I do think Insomniac needs to say something. I'm just gonna say it you know, flat out. And I know it's stuff from their perspective that yes, well, again, it's not 100% their fault. I think there needs to be something to be said or some type of security measures to be put in place because guess what? As, ugh, as much as this kind of sucks to say, this is not going to stop. If anything, it's going to get worse. And I'll tell you why. One, the economy is not doing the best. As you all know, with the pandemic going on, things seem to be getting a little back to normal. But I think, too, with that being so common and the amount of, let's be honest, with, that mon with the amount of money you can make just stealing other people's stuff, because people are typically in an altered state, they're not thinking about their stuff being stolen, that might encourage more thieves to be like, hey, I heard this guy or this girl may thousands go into this EDM thing, maybe I should do that too. Does this entice more people to go to festivals just for theft purposes? It's very possible. And I know that's really sucks to say, I know that's a very pessimistic perspective, but at the end of the day, the one underlying factor and the one underlying fact, I, I might as well say that, is it's not gonna go away. And if anything, I predict it's gonna get even worse. So I think Insomniac, you know, Ultra is coming back too. Let's say if you look at March, uh, if you look at April, Coachella and everything, all these festivals, this is going to be a big issue. And this is something that I think, although festivals don't want to take responsibility, because on one end, like I said, it's not 100% their fault. I think they need to at least make some announcement or take some measures. And again, I don't know all the intense security logistics that go into place. I don't know if it's maybe hiring more security guards. Does that mean, again, banning aluminum foil? I feel like that might help, but not completely solve the issue. 
Is it just that you need maybe more cameras? I don't know. And, and that also too brings up this kind of tricky situation, this tricky question, of course, which always been, I think, debate and battle throughout history. And that is, do you want to have less freedom, but more privacy, or less privacy, but more freedom, right? And I know that's a bit of a touchy subject to bring up in a video, but it is a tricky thing. Like, if let's say you have more security guards sitting there just watching everybody, you might feel a bit odd if you're just trying to have fun, and there's a hundred security guards all around the crowd just looking in like this, yeah, it's making you feel a bit safer, but maybe, is it? Is it not? And then in addition, like say there's tons of security cameras recording every move. I'm not gonna lie, if I'm at a festival, I'm enjoying myself, I'm, I'm, I'm vibing out, I'm in the moment, I don't know if I'd want 50 cameras with crazy optical zoom looking at my every body movement, my micro movements and everything. I'd feel a little bit like, all right, look, I just wanna have a fun time. But then also, it's that tricky thing as well, where well, that will probably reduce theft. And so I think it is that kind of balancing act of how do you reduce theft where people can still have a good time, but at the same time, not put so much um, security in place and policies in place that almost makes people feel a bit uncomfortable, right? Like you're there to let loose, you're there to escape reality, not be recorded every single second for that to be on some tape in some White House or whatever. Again, I don't know the solution to this, but I think at the end of the day, no matter what, there needs to be something that needs to be done. It is gonna get worse, and I hate to say that, you know, and I said this in the EDC video, and it sucks reading all these comments on that EDC video, seeing the just horrible things of people's stuff being stolen. Of course, luckily no one got hurt or anything, which is important, but if you're traveling, as we all know, it's a big logistical nightmare to deal with your ID being stolen, or your keys being stolen or your wallet being stolen or, stolen or your phone being stolen or all of the above. I don't know what the solution is, but they gotta do something.